Now we're going to see how to create a tween to make some text fade in and out of the screen. So we're going to create a new flash file. We're going to modify this time the size of the document so that it's, oh, I don't know, 300 pixels wide and 50 pixels high. OK, so that's smaller. We can zoom in a bit. Control plus or you zoom in out, set your magnification level. So um, we're going to write some text, so for that we need the text tool. Click once on the screen and write your text, maybe your name. And then choose the selection tool and make sure that text is selected and we can just tweak either font or the size and drag it up and down. Okay. And then just position it in the middle. And what we're going to need to do is to create a um is to turn that into a graphic object. So with that selected, we go to Modify Convert to Symbol, F8 for shortcut. We'll make it a graphic object, and we'll call it GR underscore name. OK, and then you click on OK. And now what we need to do is to create some new keyframes. So in frame 10, we're going to insert a keyframe. You can right click, insert keyframe. We can do the same in frame 20, but you can do it a different way. Insert, and then timeline, and then keyframe. Actually, F6 also works for that. And now, in between these, anywhere in between these two dots on the timeline, right click and choose Create Classic Tween. Okay, and the same, and now select the uh, middle keyframe, click on the text, and in this color effect window, in the properties window, choose alpha, and that's transparency. And what we want to do is actually, we want it to be 100% at that middle frame, but then at the beginning, click on the text, Make sure that the alpha is zero. Okay, check back in the middle frame. What's the alpha value? 100%. New tween here. Classic tween, remember, between those two dots. And go to the end frame. Click on the text. Check the alpha value. Drag that down to zero. And if we hit enter, just to see the effect. You can see we're going from 0 to 100 to 0 transparency. So now if I hit Control Enter, you can see the repeating effect that we get. Lovely.